Hi, I'm Julie Johnson with Firebox Training. Today I'm going to show you how to use managed beans with Java server faces. What we'd like to do is pass information from one page to another or have information available to multiple pages within your application, within a session. So what we've done first of all is we've already created two different pages. We have page one right here and you'll see that we have just an output text right here to show what page we're on. Here we have an input text with nothing in there and then we have a button which will take us to page two. Our goal is to allow the end user to type something into this text box, click the button, and then have that information read on page two. Let's look at page two. Here we have a button right here, and you'll see in our structure window that we have an output text. It's not showing up in the design view because uh, there is no value, but as soon as we attach a value, it will show up in there. Okay, so what we need to do first of all is to pass information from one place to another, we're going to create a managed bean. And inside of that managed bean, we're going to, uh, you know, reference any properties. These properties are going to be private, and we use the public getters and setters. Now, you probably already know what a Java bean is. It's just a Java class that's serializable, that has private properties, as well as public getters and setters. Now, a managed bean is simply a Java bean that's registered within our faces config file. If we double click on our faces config right here, you'll see that we have an area where we can reference or declare our managed beans. So let's first of all do this. Inside our page one, maybe we want to allow the user to type in a message. We'll call the property message or MSG. Okay, so what we want to do is uh, in our project right here, this is our view layer, we're going to right click on our application resources and we're going to go to JSF and create a JSF page. Let's make sure we say a blank page because if you say quick start layout, that's going to reference some ADF libraries and you might not want that. Let's right click on our application sources. We'll hit new and then Java class. We're just going to call this my bean and let's stick with the default package. I'm going to hit OK and now let's give this a private property. We'll just call it message. We want to provide public getters and setters. Now we have that. And now we're going to declare this in our faces config file. So here under manage beans, I'm going to call this bean my bean. So this bean name is actually what's going to be referenced from the JSF. The class name is my bean and this belongs to the com dot FB training package. Now request scope means that this information will be seen going from one page to another. Now if you're doing a redirect to a page it's not going to see that. Okay so let's just make this request scope. Generate class if it doesn't exist well that's fine. We know it exists. Okay now that we have that just one quick uh, side note if we want to initialize it we could initialize our property in here, but we're not going to bother with that right now. Okay, so now that we have this declared, let's go to our page one. Here we have our input text. I'm going to go to the value right here, use my expression language editor. Here's my bean, and we're really interested in the message. I'm going to copy this, so I can go to my page two, go to this output text, go to the value and hit message. Okay, so what's happening here is when we're on page one and the user types something into this input field, it's implicitly going to call the setter method when we go to page two. Then when we're on page two, it's implicitly going to call the getter method to display that information. Okay, so let's give this a whirl. I'm going to right click on my page one and here's our page. I'm going to type in, this is a test, and then we go to page two. And there we have it. Let's go back to page one. I hope you found this video tutorial very useful. Please visit our website at www.fireboxtraining.com.